I didn't change the overlay, change it now. And guys, this time I have for myself the Mongols. I like the Mongols, they are uh, a fast sieve. But it took like ages to get the into the Mongol dice. Oh, and he has the Burmese. So guys, this time I'm the one that will struggle against the elephants, against the Burmese. Wish me luck, because I'm probably going to need it. Wishing to have a map like I had on the first game with no wood. And I can do the job. There are four deers here, which is just amazing. Uh, Mew or lure? Mew or lure? I'm going for attempt to lure here. Since I already found all my resources, luring is uh, is really a good option. There's no much secret on the Mongols. Uh, they can open with men at arms, they can open with other things, but. Well, the Mango dice do really well against Aaron Bai, uh, but the problem is only on the Imperial Age. Their creation time and the cost makes them, doesn't make them to be a viable option for uh, the Castle Age. The biggest problem to fighting the Burmese is that they are strong in all ages, so. They have a good Dark Age, they have a good Feudal Age, their economy is strong because of the wood bonus. It's not only about the units, it's not only about thinking about Mangudai against Arambai, and that's what kills the game. Their stats are crazy. They just made a civilization that is good at all ages, with no problems on the transitions. So, I don't know. The best opening for the Burmese are, is the Men at Arms strategies, the one that I did on the previous game. And that's like the. Oh, come on, the deer just came back for no reason, man. The scout was right behind it. I got pissed off by the randomness of the, of the deer. It was never supposed to be going back. That's why I'm annoyed. I will try to go for a population uh, 18. It's a really fast up, and the idea of doing this really fast up is to have scouts, uh, like four scouts or five scouts, just enough to kill the first man at arms if he does it. And if he doesn't, this does just mean uh, more raiding for me. I still have to collect two more deers. Uh, my woods are not so good. I have had better woods. But I'm... I'm collecting wood, I'm going up, oh come on, once again the deer went back, I'm really pissed off with those deers going back guys, you have no idea, this is just killing my strategy, uh, I just send the scout over then, I will pay more attention but if I if they de net, uh, didn't had went back, I would have lured the four deers. I already regretted not having made the mule there. Oh, man. That's terrible for the economy. Let's go. I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you. Don't go back, you little shit.
No, 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 no. Yes. Ooh, kill his scout or, or kill the deer. Why not try to kill too? I will try to do both. Oh, that's a terrible loot. Yes, get, 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 get. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Yeah, he's going to get lost. He's to lose the scout to the spearman. That's just beautiful. He is now on the feudal age, and I already have a good bunch of of scouts. Oh, I'm housed. Oh no! Ah, I lost one scout to the TC and militia. No problem. I can still fix that. What's the problem with this table? It's in front of the berries. Yes! Go wolf, kill him. Okay, so I just stopped the initial man at arms using the scouts thanks to the wolf. I will make one more uh, scout and go to raid him. Uh, he probably has more villagers because I had some inefficiency on the economy and I have no knowledge about his map because I made a mistake and I insisted way too much on the lure strategy which was bad for my dark age overall and for my information gathering. Archers it is. And he's making walls, it seems that his map is easy to defend. Yeah, I cannot raid that gold. Uh, a lot of villagers on the... A lot of villagers on the gold. This can only mean that he is going to focus on the archers. And he already had a few spearmen. How's it once again? That was a mistake that I did at least three times on that game. He's not attacking me yet, so... I don't know, is he just going to wait to the castle age? No idea. No, there he is. With the first uh, archers. But I already have a few skirmishers, which are pretty much that I need to defend from archers. Okay, that's his wood over there, guys. I think you can see. His walled. Attacking him is going to be a problem. I should just make a wall like this to, to give me defense time if I need. This wall is easy to attack. I'm going to check on his front. 
but if that's just what he's doing, I'm pretty confident for the future. Oh, he just found now the ship. Yeah, I'm going to attack. He, I will try to force him into making scouts. Oh fuck. Oh damn it, that's there's the scout. There's the first scout. There's the second scout. He is making scouts already. And I lost mine because of bad micro. Let me just go back. Make a few more spearmen. A second archer range can be idea an idea. Only problem is going to be the wood. And of course, I want to be on the hill. <laughs> I don't need the tower. My army is more numbers and I can use the numbers for now. I'm, I'm, I cannot af um, be sure that I'm going castle first, but I have the impression that I'm going castle first. Maybe not now that I see his score. Oh damn it. I will try to stay 1TC for a while. I think that 1TC can work on that map. Because his wood is really easy to get from both sides. So if I keep the 1 to see approach, maybe I can force him on taking bad decisions. Thanks Wildling for the host. Thanks a lot man. Oh fuck man, he's on castle first, maybe I I need that tower that you guys was, were telling about. But that's too late to try and make it. I'll try to defend my front here with these skirmishers. That's a pretty sick uh, civilization. He did men at arms and he still had the economy to do archer and scouts both. Then seek civilization. Okay, he's just managing to lose his spearman. Oh, he's trying to go knights, that's beautiful. Oh, thanks for the cheer, man. Man, this guy is making a mistake, underestimating me. 
underestimating the skirmishers. Oh no, he has elephants. I just forgot about those. Damn it. Uh, I will have to invest in one more stable here. I will have to go f want to see for a while. Else, he's going to kill me. I play relaxed. Ah, uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> No. <laughs> Almost. It's Age of Empires. Oh, come on, two wolves. Damn it. Motherfucker. I'm going to get housed because of that wolf. Uh, let me go there and try to attack him. I will try to make the ballistics, it can be a great addition to the skirmisher line. What the fuck man? Why, are, why is my army going to different directions? So he made a monk. He even made a monk. That's pretty amazing. Well, I have way too much camos, man. I cannot believe if the elephants win. I can honestly not believe if these elephants is doing. And the fight was close. I I did I honestly didn't like the outcome. I thought that I would win with a good margin. But the fight was pretty close and he has more town centers. He's booming better. Mm, that's terrible. I won the fight, but I'm losing the game overall. That's how I feel about it. Nah, I'm not going to do monks. Maybe only one or two. Yeah, you are right. Maybe one or two monks can make him stop with thinking that it's a good idea to keep the, the elephants. They're really cost effective against the counters. I just hide some of my camels so he wouldn't know it. And now I'm making good use of it. I'm going to make a transition here. I'm going to send more villagers to the woods. And I will raid him with Cavarchers. archers and find somewhere else, somewhere else somewhere else to hide right come on i cannot speak somewhere else i just find an impossible word for me somewhere else no yeah i can't damn it why we have such hard words huh? and he's making the transition into Into arrow buys, guys, as you could, as you can see. Interesting, huh? Eh? Arrow buys, strong units. 
Motherfucker unit. Uh, his goals are on that side, so I may be pushing on the wrong direction here. But I need to cr to create a distraction in order to go and raid the real spots. You see? Now I'm touching his echo. Don't worry, man. I had to make sure that I would be able to touch his echo. And he must be thinking right now, okay, how I'm going to deal with those cave archers? Because I have no idea. <laughs> I want him to think that that is a safe wood, this wood on the front is a safe wood, so I can go there later and raid him with the cab archers. He's going for that wood and that's not working well for him. Oh, now he's sending the elephants. Yeah, his economy is... Oh, he sent the elephants here. Damn it. That was a smart idea. Now I'm taking some good shots on his economy. He's running. Oh, look at this! Way too many villagers for me. That seems to be a really strategic castle for him. And he's losing the villagers, man. I think that I'm already uh, starting to catch up on the economy. Mm, that was beautiful. That is freaking beautiful. Oh, but he just killed the skirmishers. Let me go back there. I'm still uh, killing something there. Oh, the mango now. No, 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 no. Doubt Castle, Doubt Castle. Doubt Castle. Doubt Castle. <laughs> Beautiful. He's dead. He's just dead. This guy is so fucking fucked up. And those cavarters are doing exactly what I need them to, to be doing. Only three ranges and that's more than enough. Oh, another villager, thanks. Let me raid. Another villager, thank you. Let me get his wood now. has a nice pack of arambies that I'm not going to fight. I have no motivation to fight those arambies right now. I'm just going imperial. I gain nothing from fighting them before the click up. Oh, he eventually did the...
welcome. Welcome back to the wolf pack. <laughs> I would just keep this strategy of raiding with the cave archers, guys. Wait. Shoot. Ooh. That was too bad of a shooting. Oh, and he's attacking me. I didn't realize that I was getting attacked there. <laughs> I cannot stop making the the cave archers for now. But now I have really a uh, strong upgrade for the cave archers. GG. GG. He couldn't raid me with the iron by. I was able to kill a lot of villagers using the cave archers, the skirmishers. So I guess that my strategy of going for one to see was a risky one, but eventually paid off and I could get some good ratings. Uh, because of his map layout, I knew that his woods had those uh, water holes here, those lakes, and this was making it easier for me to raid both woods on two sides here on the back as well. So his woods were not that, that good. Uh, when did he lose the game? Uh, honestly, uh, I don't know, maybe when he lost those fights and he had no back plan, he was just making a transition into Arambai, but that transition was a bit too soon. If he kept trying to fight with crossbowmen and elephants, maybe it would be even better than trying to go for the Arambai. They they, they are not good against ranged units, so he had no units that could counter the cav archers. Maybe if he just made a few more crossbowmen or skirmishers on the defense, could have been better. But there are a lot of things and variables that changed on his game, so I needed a more detailed analysis to, to answer that question, which was a really good one. On my perspective, I think that I won the game in the moment that I had a plan of raiding him and I was able to do it. In the end, he even had more villagers but he got in a situation where he had no counters and I was already on.